make a decision where we're going to go this year. There's lots of places I'd like to go. I'd like to come over here and do up through here to Norman and do the Pilbara. I think that'd be really cool in there. Haven't done that yet and I hear it's very picturesque. We haven't done the Fitzroy crossing up here. I wouldn't mind doing that. So taking the alternative route rather than the Gib River Road. I've got some friends up in Darwin. I'd love to go visit them. I missed out last time. And then there is, what's it called? The Savannah Way that comes across here somewhere. I'm not actually sure where, but there is the Savannah Way. It goes to Normanton, I know that much. And up towards Gaines. But no matter which way we go, that way or that way, it's a long way. I've just been looking at all my photos of our past trips. I'm getting a bit anxious, a bit nervous, but I need to pack all my clothes. So where do I start? This is my box. It's mine. Pretty much everything that I'm going to take to wear needs to fit in there. driving me crazy. Found these, they're just washcloths and I'm going to sew them together and hopefully, fingers crossed, make a bag to put my electrical cord in so it's not messy in that box. I'm just going to do a zigzag right around the edge. There is my bag. I'm going to try and put my cord in it now. After sewing this, I realized why didn't I just use a little Coles or Woolworths bag that would have done exactly the same thing, cost me nothing. Let's see if it fits in my bag, fingers crossed. In my van, and I made one for the water as well. And there we go, much neater. This morning I did a bit of a look up on checklists and whatnot and um, started to write down a few things and went oh my goodness there's water food cookware um, I take an extra butane stove which I use a lot outside of the van you've got your plates your cups your cutlery your can opener paper towels aluminium foil ziploc bags sponges dishwashing liquid a first aid kit matches rubbish bags torch and batteries for the torch safety pins duct tape pocket knife backpack water bottles there are so many more things this list could go on and on and on and be endless you can take way too much or you can take not enough the key is there are shops all the way around so if you have forgotten something you don't need to panic i'm sure you'll be able to buy it on the road somewhere so what are you doing locking up the house you're locking up the house I'm locking up my sheep you're locking it up ready to go i'm going to go inside it's going cold oh put the heater on inside oh is that what you're doing Yes. Too cold down here in Melbourne for you at the moment, is it? It is, yes. Yeah? Terrible so, weather. where are you going? Up north somewhere. Up north? Okay. Yeah. Alright, and when are you going? About two weeks. You got a destination? Wherever I end up. <laughs> there is so much you need to organise before going away. And you just sometimes don't know where to start. In the front of us here, this is our boot. I have a folding table, I have a jaffle maker, a couple of folding chairs there, my mat, which is not a muck mat. In the front box here is our two AGM batteries. No, we don't have lithium. 
This is a bit of our fishing stuff in here. The bike goes on the front here, so usually can't get to that anyway. So over at our external shower here, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. There's our power cord. This is the van with the external, whatever it is, safety thing on it. The blue hose, which is food safe water hose. My bucket here that I use as my grey water bucket slash shower bucket when I have a shower to stand in. And then when I want to save water, I use my companion high volume camp shower. And I just stick it in the bucket, the end of it in the bucket, and I recirculate the water. You never know when you're going to need a funnel, particularly to put water in your water tanks if you're putting them from a container in there. All of this, some tape and all the different possible connections you could need for water. All states have different sizes, so make sure you take extras. Bit of an oki strap there, a hammer. Oh my goodness, what else have I got in here? A couple of screwdrivers. Always need screwdrivers. Some tent pegs. That is to hold down our um, shower tent. 12 volt pump. And I bought an external water bladder to put in the back of the car. And this pump in here. There it is, if you can see that. This pump in here will pump the water from that external water bladder into the van. We only have 120 litres of water. We're not a big van. I better pack all of this mess up again. Welcome to our home for the next three months or so. This is our van. She's so cute. She's 11 foot long, but she has everything I could possibly want. We have plenty of storage space four cupboards up on this side three along the back a couple more there and a huge wardrobe here to fit all our clothes in we have cooking three banner cooker works well we have a sink we have a fridge and we have a pantry There's not much more you could actually want, except space if people don't like spending a lot of time close to their loved ones. But this is our space. It's big enough for us. You don't have to be rich to travel well. Just give it a go. Hopefully we'll see you on the road. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Give us a like and a comment. And hopefully you'll subscribe to our channel to watch our future content. Have a go at this Aussie slang game. A few of these words I haven't heard in a long, long time, but they certainly bring back some memories. It's just a little fun. Anyway, stay safe and well, and I hope you get to enjoy some adventures as well.